Hey, what do you say my fellow weekend warriors? Today we're cooking up a brisket. This is a six and a half pound brisket point. I ordered this online from a company called Crowd Cow. They're not sponsoring this video, but I've bought brisket from them in the past. It's reasonably priced and they're giving me a discount code to share with you guys, which I'll put below. And if you look at this, you get a good cross section right where they cut it in half. They cut the flat off and left us with the point, which is my favorite part. So let's trim it up and smoke a brisket. All right. Not a whole lot of fat to cut off of here, but I do want to show you this nice cross section. Kind of get an idea of that real hard fat that we're going to cut some of that out on that side. This point end has a lot of fat in it and that's the uh, intramuscular fat. So we can afford to get rid of some of this here. Just get a good sharp knife and I'm going to take off as much as I can so we can get our rub in contact with the meat. I just like to take my time, grab a little piece, and kind of just let the knife do the work. Same thing here. Just kind of use my hand to lift it up. Come in and take this chunk off. Try not to cut too much of the meat away. It's pretty much all fat. And then just get an eyeball here see where that meat is, get my knife in, just make a small cut and then come up. That's it, just run the knife, nice and easy. Now we can flip it over and get to work on this giant piece right there. It's nice having this cut in half, you can see how far you gotta go. There we go. See that just one big hunk of hard fat. Get that out of there. Just get a little bit of this excess. You don't have to get all of it. And then same thing right here. We'll just take a little bit of this away. Always let the knife do the work. That looks pretty good. A little bit of silver skin here I'll get. And that looks pretty good to me. So we got both sides, plenty of meat to get our rub on, build up that nice bark. With all that trimming, we've probably taken the brisket down to about five pounds. And now we can get our rub and our binders on there. So let's do that. So for the binder today, I'm gonna use Worcestershire sauce. Let's get that on there. Just kind of rub that in. You could use mustard, you could use oil, you know, some kind of vegetable oil, olive oil. Get this side. Just give our rub something to stick to. I also like this because it's a dark color, which is gonna help with that really nice dark bark that people like to get on their briskets. And for the rub today, we're gonna use Cosmos Q Texas Beef. I really like this. I used this on some uh, burgers the other night. That was awesome. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of extra pepper on top, just cause I like a lot of pepper in my rub. This has uh, sugar, salt, garlic, onion, spices, lemon juice powder, a couple other things in there. It's got real good flavor to it. So we're gonna put that on. It's okay if you go a little heavy on this, big piece of meat. I'm gonna sprinkle my pepper just by hand like this. You can go ahead and give it a little pat, make sure it sticks. Flip it over and repeat. Then anything that's on my cookie sheet here as far as rub, just go ahead and sop that up. And that's it, we're just gonna keep it nice and simple with the flavors. I've got the pellet smoker set to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm using the fruit wood blend pellets because that's what I've already got in there. And that fruit wood has cherry in there, which should help us with a better smoke ring. So let's get it in the smoker. All right, we'll get this door open. I'm going right on this about center rack, right next to the latch. My water pan is full of water. Let's get it in there. I'm just gonna go right there. 
take my temp probe, just put it right in this thickest part, about halfway down. That way we can keep an eye on it. Let's get this door closed. And we'll come back about once an hour to see how it's looking. Usually I don't need the spritz until the second hour, but we'll see. And instead of a spritz today, I'm gonna use a mop sauce. And I'll show you how to do that when we come back. Just hit the one hour mark. Let's get this door open, see how it's looking in there. That brisket point is looking awesome. It's at 74 degrees Fahrenheit after one hour. And our rub is just now barely starting to get set. It's still coming off when I touch it. At this point, we don't need to do anything except get the door closed, let that smoke keep rolling. We'll come back when that crust dries out a little bit and we're ready for our mop sauce. All right, we just hit the two hour mark. I'm ready to make my mop sauce. Check this out, really simple. Now you could certainly make your own, but I'm gonna use this Cosmos Q brisket mop sauce. And I like to take a cup of water and a half a bottle. I've already used this on a chuck roast and it was really good. So pour in the other half of this bottle and then we'll just give it a stir here with the spoon. The reason I'm not gonna use a spritzer is this does have some seasonings in there that will clog up the nozzle on my spritzer. So now I've got my mop. This is made just for this purpose. We'll get it in here. And let's go over and mop our brisket. So you can see we're ready now. All of our rub is sticking pretty good. The internal temperature is 117 degrees Fahrenheit at the two hour mark. And now we'll just mop it. This is really efficient. Just kind of dab it, I'm not brushing it across. Just like that. It smells good. It's gonna add a ton of flavor. Help us build up that bark. There we go. I'll come back and do this every time it dries out up until the point where we wrap it. All right, you know it's good when the dog comes out. We're at the three hour mark. Let's get this door open. And that is looking fantastic. That color is really starting to develop and we're ready for another mopping. I came out uh, after the first half hour, mopped it again. The internal temperature on the brisket is at about 147 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're just gonna get a little mop going. Keep building up that bark. Very nice. Get the door closed. And at this point, we'll come back when it's ready to wrap, probably around 165 or whenever that color is real nice and dark, how we like it. We'll wrap it up and show you that in about an hour. All right, we're at the four hour and 20 minute mark. I just took this out. It's at 164 degrees Fahrenheit. This has got one of the best colors I've gotten on a brisket in that smoker and I'm sure it has to do with those pellets and our mop. And so what I'm gonna do just before I wrap it up in the peach paper, so I'm gonna hit it up with one more mop on top. Just give it one last burst of flavor. Man, that looks awesome. And now from here, we're just gonna wrap it up. You don't have to be too neat about it. Now let's get it back in the smoker. We're gonna put it back in so the top side that we smoked it at is still on the top side. Put it in just how it was. Then I'm gonna take my probe, kind of get it right back in the same place so we can keep an eye on it. And at this point, temperature doesn't matter. We're cooking to tenderness. So when I can take a toothpick or a probe and it goes in and out like butter, that's when it's done. It doesn't matter what the temperature is, but 
that's usually around 200 degrees where I start checking. So we're going to come back after it's probe tender, after it's rested, and we're ready to cut it up. All right, we had a total of an eight hour cook time, one hour rest time. This thing's ready to slice, let's check it out. You can see that real nice dark color on there. A lot of that is from our mopping sauce, plus the smoke. This thing is real jiggly like a piece of jello. And this is just the point, it doesn't have the flat. Of course, there's a little bit of a flat underneath here. You can see that with that separation right there. It's a little bit of the flat underneath. Now you can make burn ends out of this, whatever you like really but I'm gonna start slicing this up. We'll go this way. Get yourself a nice, sharp knife. Good slicing knife. And let's just go through and cut some slices. See how it turned out. You can see this knife just going through like butter. And the smell is amazing. It's all cut up into some nice slices. Let's take a look here. Beautiful smoke ring. Look at that, oh my God. That's one of the best ones I've cooked. There you go. Just pulls apart. Let me just dig through here, find a piece with my name on it. There we go. That one's mine. Let's get a bite. This is gonna be really good. It took almost eight and a half hours with the rest. Totally worth the time. Let me get a bite. Oh my God, that is so good. I'm a big believer in that mop sauce. It's got big time flavor and that pit boss got it done. And if you guys like this video, you definitely gotta check out one of those two right there. And I'll see you over there.